You know, I had one of those telephone conversations this morning, which really got me thinking about the direction of thought I take on a particular subject, any given subject. And this one was all about migration. And the person said to me, Andy, why do you describe people coming across the channel as uh, a dinghy diver? I said, well, I really did it because when I looked at the term dinghy diver, I thought that is a terrific amount of traffic that's generated by that phrase, dinghy diver. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to use that. And, you know, they said, well, isn't that a bit wrong? I said, well, maybe, is it? Uh, I, I couldn't see the harm in it. It was just a colloquialism assigned to, you know, the, these uh, people. And then, you know, I've spent the rest of the day thinking about the whole migration issue as a whole and wonder, hmm, do, do they have a point? How to everybody, welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday, I think. Yes, Tuesday. Uh, we are here. Uh, or I am rather at Cobham Services just on the way home. Thought I'd record a couple of bits. Yes, dinghy divers, very interesting phrase, isn't it? And it, of course, refers to those that uh, get on a rubber life raft or dinghy or kayak or whatever at France and come across the channel, aptly aided, as we well know, by the RNLI and Border Force and the French and, you know, everything else. Now, in my view, uh, that that practice needs stopping but I find it very easy to to kind of knit the whole migration issue whether it be legal illegal or otherwise into one bowl and you know when you criticize one sector of it you end up getting called a racist now I've been called a racist a few times over the last few days but you know this person I spoke to this morning was very genuine uh, very caring and you know we had a frank discussion about it and it, it made me think you know what do I actually believe to be true because you have what you believe and what really is hard fact well societies have a certain amount of immigration I mean you look at America for example uh, places like uh, like New York uh, you know, spring to mind straight away. You've got immigration from Italians, Irish, uh, you know, all, all sorts of things that settled in New York many, many years ago, several generations ago, built their families and made the place their home. We, we have the same here with the Windrush generation, uh, another one that springs to mind straight away, and generations of people that have left their own countries and sought out a better life in principle I've got nothing against whatsoever anybody that wants to come and work hard and play by the rules and do their bit for this economy and raise their families nothing at all uh, you know in fact I have some great friends who whose families originated from other places uh, you know that's the multicultural existence we live in after all what I have a problem is, is what goes on in Dover. Uh, what I have a problem is, is the mass movement of people, be it Albanians or, you know, for, from war-torn countries or any other thing, for the financial gain of somebody else. I mean, there's adverts on TikTok, isn't there? Uh, quite, quite a lot where they're advertising come and cross the English Channel for several thousand pounds and we'll get you over there and they're either intercepted or they disappear. Now I find that bang out of order. Should they be called dinghy divers? I mean they get in a dinghy and they come over here when I'm sure there's probably far safer ways of doing it. Uh, the other thing that frightens me as well, you, you know, as well as hanging out at the camps at Calais and all the problems involved there is the safety aspect I mean at the end of the day we've got to show some compassion you try and navigate one of the busiest shipping routes in the world 
uh, in nothing but a small rubber raft designed for something else entirely you're going to get mishaps every now and again and just a couple of weeks ago I think in fact one was taking on water and had to be rescued it's a risk to life as well as everything else uh, that's it really I, I just wanted to generalize on on the subject let me know what you think of all of it in the comments below and uh, should we be calling them dinghy divers or should we be uh, looking at it more sensibly? I don't know. You tell me, and I'll see you soon with another. Toodaloo.